Hello queens, angels, and goddesses. Welcome back to my channel. Warning this contains boy love. And if you don't like it then please get off my channel water pistol. Grinning face with cowboy hat. Their bodies were tangled in sweat and satisfaction, and Sugar loved every second of this almost ethereal afterglow. Tobio snoozed on his shoulder, a small trickle of drool dribbling onto Suga's skin and he wouldn't dream of removing it. It had been both their first times and a good time to start that kind of journey, Sugar thought. Tobio and Sugar were at the same university with years together ahead of them while Sugar toiled for his doctorate, so they had some time to figure out where they wanted this thing between them to go. This thing had started at a party on the night after third year Kageyama Tobio had stood shoulder to shoulder with his high school teammates. Tears running freely down his cheeks as a grinning Yachi had done her best to slip that gleaming gold medal around his neck. Kerasuno had finally done what Suga's generation never could, and his pang of regret was quickly consumed by sheer joy for his former Kauhei. By his third year, nobody ruled the court like Tobio, but this time, his reign was built on a throne of hard work, dedication, and teamwork. Sugar couldn't help but be sucked into his orbit, and by the end of the night, he and Tobio found themselves in a broom closet necking like the hormone-riddled teenagers they were. That had been a year before. Tobio was in college himself, his scholarship to the top school in Miyagi Ashuin, the same school Sugar had busted his ass to test into. But they were different people on different paths, and Sugar knew Tobio had paid his admission in sweat and tears, through strains and sprains since he was old enough to pick up a volleyball. Sugar found himself spending a lot of time in Tobio's dorm room, eating and visiting and studying and a few other things they had to wait for his roommate to leave in order to do. But the previous night had been different, they were celebrating again. This time, it was because Tobio had, as a first year, secured a spot on the starting lineup. Sugar wasn't blind to what that meant, Tohoku University's team was damned good, and Tobio was one of the best of them. It started with dinner and a walk through the brisk chill of late autumn in Sendai, the sea breeze slicing through their light jackets and sending them into each other's sides searching for warmth. It didn't take long for them to both give into good sense and scuttle back to Tobio's dorm, where warmth and solitude awaited them while his roommate was traveling with his basketball team. There were kisses and laughs, followed by sighs and then a plea for more, and Sugar couldn't find a single shred of will to deny the need in Tobio's voice. Glad his med school education did more for his knowledge of sex ed than high school or his parents ever could, Sugar eased them both into it until they were both out of breath and far from cold anymore. And then they curled into each other, Tobio dozing on top of Sugar, and it was a moment he thought he would remember forever. He craned his neck as best he could and brushed a kiss to Tobio's brow. I love you, he whispered. He knew Tobio would never hear it, but he wanted, needed, to say it. Sugar jolted in surprise when Tobio raised his head, groggy and tousled and smiling. I love you too, Suga-san. Tobio pulled himself awake and tugged Sugar close for a long, languorous kiss. It was different for them, unhurried but no less important than the heated exchange that had led to their first bout of lovemaking. But when Tobio gave an experimental roll of his hips, their lazy kiss hiked up in its sharpness. Their second round was far quicker than the first, but it was the first time after they had said how they truly felt and then had shown it. Sugar would remember it forever. This time, they both slept once they carefully cleaned each other up, naked and touching everywhere they could under blankets of wool and warmth and something only theirs. Warning this fanfiction does not belong to me neither does the fan art. Credits to the original artist and author to the fan art and the fanfiction. Hey Kaiyu does not belong to me either. Well bye children smiling face with hearts.